So what is wasabi and why does it make you feel like your face is on fire? Well, real wasabi, not the sad green horseradish you normally find in stores, is the ground up rootstock or rhizome of a plant known as Wasabia haponica. The plant produces a compound known as allyl isothiocyanate, or AITC for short, which gives it its distinctive pungency. Producing this kind of compound is beneficial for the plant because it deters things like animals or insects from eating it. Because when you do eat it, the AITC interacts with receptors in your sensory neurons known as transient receptor potential ion channels, or TRP channels for short. From insects to humans, transient receptor potential channels are key transducers of thermal, chemical, and other sensory cues. Interesting. What this means is that TRP channels sense all sorts of sensory cues, and of course the most interesting of those are the sometimes noxious ones like chili peppers and wasabi and heat. Okay, super cool tangent. So some snakes actually have trip channels in the pit organs in their face, which help them detect infrared heat and let them see their prey at night, which is awesome. But it means that some squirrels have actually developed super special tail waggles to confuse the snakes. So they'll specifically warm different parts of their tail so that their heat signal is different. So they'll wave their tails differently, but they only do it at snakes that can sense this infrared and it's awesome and not what we're talking about today. So let's get back to wasabi. To best demonstrate the noxious effects of wasabi, I have a spoonful of it. Which I'm gonna eat. Right now. Mm, uh, mm, uh. Okay, I can't do this. But I know someone who will. Hello Alex, my fellow EDU guru. What can I do for you today? Miles, I need your help. I'm in the middle of doing a video on wasabi and I need someone to eat. Nope. Please? No, it's not happening. I remember doing something very similar to this about a year ago with chili peppers and it really didn't end up well. I ended up crying on camera. I'm not doing it. What, but what I, I have a limited edition Firefly poster. Signed by the whole cast. I think Nathan Fillion even sneezed on it. There's probably still some of his DNA on it. What? It can be yours. I'll send it to you. But Nathan Fillion's DNA, Miles. All you have to do is eat a spoonful of wasabi. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, I'll just get some wasabi and I'll put you on loudspeaker. Okay, be right back. Yeah, I'll put you on speaker. Okay, so we already know that wasabi gets its heat from AITC, but where does the AITC come from? It's actually not made until the cells of the plant are ruptured, either by chewing or grinding. When this happens, the cells release an enzyme known as myrosinase. This enzyme breaks down a glucosinolate, which is just a fancy word for a compound made from an amino acid and a sugar. When it's broken down, AITC and some other pungent compounds are produced. This breakdown is known as a hydrolysis reaction because myrosinase uses a water molecule to break apart the glucosinolate. The AATC is actually pretty volatile, so it doesn't stick around too long, which means that the fresher the wasabi is, the stronger the kick. Okay, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, okay, I've got some. Oh, God, it smells. You gotta eat a spoonful of it. The poster, right? Yeah, for the poster. Okay. Miles? I'm going to do it. Just wait. Do it. Oh. It's not so bad yet. <laughs> oh. How does it feel? <coughs> oh my god, my nose. Miles? Alright. It's really hurting, Alex. Ugh. Yeah, that's the AITC interacting with your trip channels, which is basically telling your brain that your face is on fire. Yeah, I noticed. And the AITC is more volatile than the chili peppers, um, the capsinoid in the chili peppers. So it's going up into my nose and burning my nose, which is awful. Ugh. Well, your saliva should help wash it away. It shouldn't last too long. Yeah, it's more water soluble, so it's not lasting as long as the chili peppers, but it's still awful, and I can feel it in my lungs. Oh God, it's awful. Well, awful it is then. So, there you go. AITC interacts with your trip channels and makes your face feel like it's on fire. Now you know. Go forth. Do Wait, Alex. Alex, Alex, Alex. Don't you need to know my address to uh, send me the poster? Oh, you're breaking up international phone calls and. <laughs> Alex? She hung up on me. Go forth, do science. <laughs>